Hey ya! It's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect 3. We had a quite a tough episode last one. We lost Tane, which was very difficult. It was a beautiful scene though, I gotta say. Um, a lot of things happened in the Citadel as well. It was under attack and then we executed Udina. I was very happy about that actually. I know I'm quite violent when it comes to Udina, but I'm so glad that we're rid of him. He was a dirty rat and uh, just an informant or mole, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, he was with Cerberus after all. And we avoided quite the catastrophe uh, with all that. So a lot of things happened last episode. It was quite crazy. But um, yeah, today I'm not sure what we're gonna do actually. I'm thinking of doing some side stuff maybe, which would be something that has to do with the Asari. I think that we could do, but uh, yeah, I'm just happy to jump back into it, so let's go. Okay, so I think we have a lot of messages that we can uh, read. So let's see about that. Game night, Samantha Trainer, Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games, Trainer. Is that like a romantic thing or...? <laughs> I hope not. Citadel interview your cabin. Diana Allers. The networks are going wall to wall with the coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udena's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Diana. Okay, that could be cool too. Mimi at the bar. Jack, the students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of short leave. Next time you hit the citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. We are actually already did that last episode. ANN alert new article on Cerberus. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved by the biotic, identified by authorities as Arash Agdashlu. I don't, I don't remember that person, I don't think I've heard that before, I'm not sure. Engage Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Ag Dashlu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragya as a child. Okay. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Wait, so was that, um, was that his name when we did the, the loyalty mission for Jack and we blew up the station? We let one of the dudes alive. I don't know if he escaped and maybe that's him. I don't remember his name, but I don't think that was his name. But uh, he wanted to, he was like traumatized and he wanted to rebuild the station and everything. He was, he was mind-fucked. Um, drug abuse and criminal activity. So maybe if I had not lev let him live, he wouldn't have been able to save that those people that took the shuttle. And he now he died doing that. Maybe it's not the same dude, but I'm thinking maybe it's the same. Hmm. Derelish Mole. Adrian Victus, Commander Shepard. Cerberus just embushed. A uh, Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty for his head. Really? 
My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Corlac myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Corlac in your capacity as a specter and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus mole. I forwarded information on his last known location to the specter office on the Citadel. James Vega, hey Commander, just wondering if you got some time in the near future, nothing critical, just wanted to chat. Sure. Kai Leng's dossier, Stephen Hackett. Shepard, as promised, here is what we have on Kai Leng. Name Leng Kai, date of Systems Alliance Military Enlistment, November 14, 2172. Age of Enlistment, 16. Credentials, credentials faked. Terminus system, patrol and reconnaissance, Exodus cluster, patrol and reconnaissance, reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers, sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record. Grade of Antion, recommended for System Alliance Medal of Valor. Valor? Valor? Kite's Nest, tactical reconnaissance, accepted into Interplanetary Combatives Academy. Received N7 designation from Interplanetary Combatives uh, academy dishonorably discharged and in prison after charge of first degree murder in 2176 Cerberus activities intel on Kai Leng's activities after joining Cerberus is potty what is known is that the elusive men arranged for Leng's escape from prison employing him as an operative for the next 10 years Leng is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent working as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus Phantom class implants. So he was already around when I was with Cerberus in Mass Effect 2? Priority Citadel Shore Leave. That's the other DLC, right? Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for more much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. Small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. You're all on short leave. That's an order. We need everybody at their best. One more thing. Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear, I hear it's a nice place. Awesome. How many journal do we get from that? Shore leave. That's it, okay. Commander, I realize there's a lot happening right now, but I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group Sorry. of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Oh. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. If we can trust them. Unless they're indoctrinated and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. True. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. No, for sure. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from okay. various Cerberus cells by location and Damn, past she's good. known ship movements. You found them? I believe so. Yes. The fuck? Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. She is really good, eh? Okay. Commander. I've done um, all the scanning that I could do, I think, off camera. So uh, we got a lot of, uh, of stuff we will be able to do when we're back on the Citadel. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? <laughs> something about leather seats. I worked for Cerberus <sighs> when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. <sighs> and evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. 
nearly getting the council killed. I agree with That's Joker. Not look good on the yearly performance review. I'm sorry, but I agree with Joker. That's so good. Commander. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? Do we need to the talk? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. <laughs> the Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. Right. My I purpose guess. is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. Right. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Mm. Gotta love quantum computing. Mm. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. That's so fucking weird. I'm sorry that that defense magic is unlocked. Oh, really? It is kind of weird, no? Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly Oh, true. <laughs> I, I didn't think of, the of that. He is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Right, I didn't even think of that. That's true. Also, what we are all talking about, I had not thought of it, but the fact that... I mean, it was a Reaper, right? Kind of? That we... It was Reaper technology. Oh, Garrus is there. Damn. Um, oh, Tain is added! Dude. Oh, Baldur's Gate updated. I wonder what it is. Huh. Um, it was Reaper technology, but was it? Is it the type of Reaper that can indoctrinate? Because if that's the case, that's really scary. Because even a non-functional Reaper can still indoctrinate. We've seen it many times. So, could it indoctrinate Carl Ross? <laughs> like, that would be fucking insane. I, I guess we need to retrieve that Reaper, no? It's not, it's not exactly a Reaper, though. It's Reaper technology. I don't know. I don't know. Damn, I'm seeing things like that. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Yeah. <laughs> if they hadn't backed down, yes. This one I'm sorry, but person. we're talking about Caden, right? I'll remember that next time we have an argument. <laughs> Still, I'm glad Caden didn't have to join Ash. Yeah. Losing one was enough. I mean... Good to have Caden back. You can always use a friendly gun. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. I'll remember this next time we have an argument. Please, Garrus, come on now. Oh my god. 
I mean, with Caden, yeah. With Garrus, I wouldn't be able to do it. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Udina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Intact Reaper Weapon. The barrel of this Reaper weapon can be dismantled for further study. If the miniaturized energy cells powering the gun system are taken apart, it could lead to improvements in the damage a weapon can deal. However, an examination of its heat venting systems could instead provide the means to maximize thermal clip storage. I'm... I'm taking weapon damage <laughs> at all times. <laughs> Volus Intelligence Archives. The Salarian Special Task Force appears to have approached the Vol Protectorate about co-developing combat implants that require rare elements found in Volus space. The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit them to non-Salarian species should it be a sufficiently profitable venture. One of these upgrades could be commissioned, although its construction will be time-consuming and must be custom-made. Power damage or health? Power. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Those are the things I found um, in um, during scanning on, on planets, basically. Off camera. Audio recording from Councillor Gugier's Senate office. Secretary Phillips, the emergency funds gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. Councillor Gugier, what about the military? SP, they left an hour ago. They said this is too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here. This... Is this a passkey, sir? And an inventory? Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of the city's senate to seize any and all ESO stockpiles in our treasure in order to secure safe passages, safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These looks like private stockpiles, senate, senate member stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Yes, sir. Whoa, that's crazy. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Oh, that's it? Okay. Please enjoy your day. Thank you, Glyph. Uh, I think Dr. Chakwas wants to speak to me, is what Trainer was saying when I was just starting the episode. May I speak with you, yes. Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Hmm. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. I see. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. All right. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Oh, is that so? That would be nice. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. It would help all involved of if you course, could barter a trade do. of medical supplies with... I'm thinking... Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. Slow down power use. Fuck. How much does it... I should reset Liara's powers. And maybe Garrus's. And then we'll see. For mine, I think we're good. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine with me. Maybe I could take off the... What is it? 
uh, increase reputation, this one. And I could take power damage bonus by 15% instead. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe that would be better. Let me save first and uh and do it. Uh incinerate for sure. Um damage recharge speed I think and then to frozen that's good uh combat drone mm, yeah short range attack uh Stunning enemies could be interesting. Huh. I don't I don't know, that's kinda hard. Kinda wanna try shock. But I'll keep chain lightning, I think. I kinda wanna try the rocket. Let's try the rocket. Sentry turrets. Uh, this and then tech mastery, and now I will not take the reputation, I'll take this the weight capacity, and then power damage bonus, maybe. Instead of increased combat drone and sentry turret shields by 100%. And damage. Mm. I kind of use them a lot, so... Okay, I'll try that. Fitness. Health. I don't use melee as much. Uh Yeah. Now we have so we still have a lot of reputation even without the 8%. So I think it's all good to be honest. There we go. Overload. Of course, overload is very important too. Um, increase damage. Uh, neural shock is cool, but I think recharge is more important. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do think it's more important. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put it full. Let me put some cryoblast. Oops. Uh, sabotage I need as well. Huh. Oh no, I- I- I un undid everything. Ah. Oh. Fuck! I thought it was just for sabotage, I'm sorry. Okay, so, I, uh, decided to use rockets for sentry. Turrets, I don't know, I'm just I'm just curious about that. Um combat drone, I decided to use chain lightning um to shock. I I kinda like that. Incinerate for freeze combo. Overload is not full, but it's fine. Cryoblast is only at three, that's kinda bad. Um sentry I already said. Tech mastery, I uh kept the weight bonus of course but i didn't get the um increased reputation bonus by eight percent like i i don't need look at my bar like i don't i just don't need it 
fitness, I put everything basically in shields and health. Uh, instead of like um, melee. But yeah, we'll we'll be able to redo um, Liara's and Garrus stuff when I get them out for a mission next time. I want to make them a bit more combo ready with me. Uh, use use their their combos more basically. Make them a bit more powerful. Oh, he's here. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Uh. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you could have warned me. She looks good, though. Hey, yeah, she does. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kind of like it. Living lean. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Mm. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to get back out there. Not sure I'm gonna take you on the next mission, though. <laughs> I'll be honest. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Life support is useless now without Thane. That made me so sad, dude. Oh, okay. Engineering. Let's go see everyone. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, mm. we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. What the? Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, his death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others will be tolerated. Fair enough. I would like to visit the Citadel again. Yeah. When it is not infested with traitors. Yeah, obviously. The Kai Lang human bears watching, Commander. Mm. I sense that the blood in his veins is very cold. What does that mean? Yes. Interesting. Commander. Nothing to report. Nothing to report, Commander. Cool. Thank you, everyone, for your work. I appreciate it. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. All right. I guess I could do that. I'm gonna go to the shuttle bay first, though, but... Um... I wanted to... I wanted to... Wait, can't I? Upgrade the Black Widow. Yes, okay. We will upgrade the Black Widow. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Jesus Christ. It is really worth it, though. My goodness. Um... The damage, holy. <laughs> yeah. I... Uh, maybe... Maybe the SMG... How much is it? It's not as expensive. You know, what if I put this? Is 
Damage is not as strong, obviously. But the weight is better. If I put... I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty good. Plus 97%, that's pretty good. Help same to smoke. Okay, wait a minute. Increase damage. No, I think the aiming aiming to smoke is uh, is fun. That's that's good. I think I'm gonna try it like that, guys. Obviously, I much prefer my Avenger over my SMG. Uh, get plasma, but um, it's just it's it's just better for my power recharge speed. I mean, it wasn't the worst with this. How much was it? Plus 46, like, it's not the worst, but... I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna try with the SMG. And the more powers, you know. More combos with my powers, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't have money anymore. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. <laughs> I can't believe Udina. Great that example to the other races, huh? It was just insane. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kodiak. What you did was drop them off and bugger out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. Good to see you, Commander. <laughs> They're funny. Um... Maybe this? I'm trying all the blues. <laughs> Let's be serious for one second. I'll be trying all the blues. I know I could add... You know... Hoods. And like hide them. But I just... No. They, they don't really hide at all times. I just... I cannot. I much prefer seeing her like that. <laughs> hey, Fashion before anything. I know. Do you hear oh, that hum? I'm sorry. Is that just me? I'm sorry, I cut. Do you hear that hum? Is that just he me? He said he wanted to talk to me, though, didn't he? I am genuinely confused. Maybe in my captain's cabin. Everybody wants to go in my captain's cabin instead of Garrus. You know what I mean? Invite trainer. I don't know if I'm really in the mood for that. Hey! Look at all them fishies. Even the jellyfish. Look at them. They're so cute. So now it dispenses by itself. Like they will not die this time, right? They won't die this time. This looks really good. Yeah, I don't know if I should do like do that with trainer yet. I don't know, it feels weird a bit to do it now. I would like to do another mission before, I think is what I mean. Maybe we should do that. A group of top level scientists have cut ties with Cerberus and are fleeing their former employer, rescue the scientists before Cerberus can find them. I think maybe I should do that. Oh, really? Okay. Let's talk to... <laughs> I didn't hear, but I read that Anderson wants to speak to me. I should autosave more often. Would be better. How many points do we have now? Woo! We're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, we already have the minimum. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. 
<laughs> Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? What the fuck? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Yeah. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. <laughs> True. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Yeah, I mean, we've, Don't we've seen. Him. He no. is really then powerful. I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And is enough. The way he said it, Anderson out. <laughs> it was so cute, I don't know. Plus two reputation for that, really? I didn't do anything. I'm, I'm just me. <laughs> Alright, okay, so. I think we should go to Arayar. Commander. We should do side stuff, is my... Uh... What's the next big stuff? Let me... Perseus Bale, yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Tally, basically. The the Quarian and Get. I'm guessing. That kind of war thingy. Um, that's the next big, uh, big thing. So I want to do other stuff before going there because that's like on the edge of um, Terminus space or something. You know, like it's, I feel like we'll we'll have a lot to do there. So I want to get rid of, um, get rid, like do other stuff before. I have allergies today. There's also the, uh, the DLC. Oh, there we go. Yeah, investigate a sorry colony, find ex service scientists. Speak with Koreans is at, at the far rim. There we go, far rim. And we also have this DLC. We have a lot of things we can do. Okay, let's do this. The service scientists, ex service scientists. As you can see, I've already. Scanned here. I feel like maybe there's nothing to see here. Okay. Angelix was given to the Krogan. Crow. Crow grin. <laughs> nice typo. After the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan rebellions and reconquered by the Tyrians. This left the Tyrians as caretakers to a level amino acid based world that they could not inhabit themselves but were unwilling to give up. Typical. In cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Between the high price and the surface littered with unexploded ordnance, however, Jellix found a few reputable tenants. Its most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know of today, Jellix is a symbol of tragic waste, an entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. Okay, and they should be there, is what I understand. All right. Kinda wanna bring these two so I can do their, um, their powers, reset their points. Uh, yeah, that was okay. That's okay. You! 
Maybe I have I have a gift for you. There we go. him for a brief time maybe I could use that too <laughs> uh, instead of smoke It's the same slot as kept as the weight. Ah, uh, I see how it works. <laughs> I see. There we go. The holy shit, that's good. Okay, so Garrus, concussive shot is fucking OP. Okay, I'm I'm just saying. So let's see, increase force and damage or impact radius. Uh, force and damage. Increase force and damage to frozen targets or recharge speed. I think recharge speed. And that is increased damage to organic by 100% over 10 seconds, increased force by 50. Or a power concussive shot with the properties of the active ammo power, enabling it to burn, freeze, disrupt, warp, or pierce armor. That's really cool. That's really fucking cool. Proximity mine is really good too. I would say... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Wait a minute. Tyrion a rebel. Increase weapon damage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With the Black Widow, it's gonna be crazy. Power damage. Could be good. Assault rifle. Sniper rifle. Oh my lord. He's gonna be a god on the battlefield. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, increase. Yeah. Uh, one additional. Uh, nah. And armor piercing. Maybe it would be better for overload. Mm. There we go. And then for you... Warp. So fucking OP. Let me see. Increase forest damage and impact radius of combo detonations by 50%. Increase weapon damage taken by a target by 15. Increase power damage taken by a target by 15 for 10 seconds. Increase damage by 40. Increase duration by 60. I was unsure about this one. Increase damage to bearers and armor. Recharge speed. Yeah. Pure biotic. Let's see. Increase recharge speed bonus of all powers. Yeah. Weapon damage, power force, and duration. Yeah. 
And recharge speed of the era singularity. Yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> singularity is so OP as well. <laughs> Hold duration. Additional enemies can be lifted before singularity fades. I like that. 25 damage or recharge speed. Detonate singularity when the field dies to inflict 375 damage or expand, expand singularity to fill by 25% for 10 seconds. Detonate maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, let me see uh, warp ammo. And stasis. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Because I was unsure. <laughs> I can't make a decision right now. Okay, let's try with these new... Uh, with like recharge speed to the top. From the bottom to the top. <laughs> What's the word? Do we we'll know how see. long these scientists have been holed up out here? Because we're gonna fight Cerberus, I Our think. Our intel is minimal. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down and get out of here. I need these scientists alive. I can't wait to use my Black Widow. <laughs> I'm so excited. <clears throat> and to see Garrus use it. This gon' be good. I'm excited. Yeah, Cerberus. Of course. Jesus. They're just scientists, like... Is that Jacob? Was that Jacob? That's Jacob, isn't it? Wait a minute! <laughs> what the fuck? That's Jacob for sure! What the fuck? I did not expect this! Alright. I guess. Okay. No one. Under Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. <laughs> Shut up. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down? Um. Their heads. We can't hold them much longer. I want to go there, yeah. Alright, they're already dead. Don't have to do anything. <laughs> Where the fuck are they? Push! Push! Forward! Uh. No, 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 no. Maybe we can flank these guys! Oh my lord. Okay. Um, sentry. And. Wait, 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 wait. let me see. Oh, come on. I what the fuck my cryo was there before now it's not anymore so I was confused oh well it's fine all clear check for survivors too easy <laughs> 
thought it was going to be a cryo blast, but it was an overload instead. Uh, hello? Who's there? there we go. Thank you. Come in, Jacob. This is Bryn. Jacob, are you all right? Come in. Shepard. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. Everybody's getting hit when I meet them. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. She's a friend. Hi, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. Yeah. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Mm. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Now, the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Mm, yeah, he is. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. Mm. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Mm. It was his idea. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. I like my new blue, by the way. This is better. It's not green anymore. Jesus. Archer? Commander Shepard. Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Overlord. Yeah, That's remember. One way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. Uh-huh. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. <laughs> Let him worry. David is I was at Grissom Academy. <laughs> Cerberus tried that to would be so students, mean. but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. Don't pretend. It's late to start worrying about his safety Right? Now. Thank you. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster. And yeah, you're right. you Not are. A day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? Knowing him, you I will. strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? 
After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Of course he did. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Nice. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. <laughs> I understand. Huh? But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Didn't do it for you. Butcher. Okay. Private message from Oris to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing and I'm getting a sense of big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined in our worst nightmares kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We'll meet up and talk ASAP. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Weapon bench. No, I'm I'm good actually. I'm good. Get the tips from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Hmm. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. It's nice that the upgrades just uh put themselves in when you already are equipped with it. I think that's cool. That you don't need to take care of that. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. Damn, his eyes. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43. Plus research The Black Widow looks insane on our You ran with <laughs> over 40 people. When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Like we didn't have enough to worry about. <laughs> Gareth, shut up. <laughs> so those refugees brought everyone with them? <laughs> yes. We have about 17 Ooh. kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. Okay. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. But it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. Uh. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. <laughs> uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through That's it from good. here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the yeah, override fine. code. Will do. That's fine. Like, he can help still, but... <laughs> that was so good. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Commander Shepard's here. With Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. The contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makita, Scott, Daniel, Chun, Hei, Annika, and so many others I don't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? With Jacob's help, we managed. I don't know. Okay, that's the same thing. So relax. Got a little time. Dr. Cole. Got a moment? Of course. You and Jacob? What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Okay. Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting edge I can't imagine. the personnel I needed. That's crazy. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. 
That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. <laughs> it also saved your life. Yeah. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How'd you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. That's a cool shot. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So, what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. Oh boy. Source. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became pre It was a research. Okay. The elusive man. I... Technical it also saved you. Strange I... to think. Maybe. But saw then, everything. Life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Running from Cerberus? Don't you think you've put these people in serious right. danger? I haven't. They heard wouldn't that. have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. I have so many we allergies to today. Life, I'm sorry. Where we could live and work on our terms. God. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. It's like, I, I just want to scratch like, ugh. It's so annoying. I'm trying to not think about it. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm like fidgeting today. Some kind of poison. Oh! Tailored to Turians. There we go. I told you that we should have gone to Sanctuary. Look, let's just focus on getting out of here alive. Poison I'm tailored? To to save this data. Attempts on ongoing at are ongoing at figuring out what the end of products of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet un unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which leads us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what we said what said hole might be, and that is what scares me the most. Mm -hmm. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the shuttle bay. I don't want to die. Shep, I'm no, in here. Just go. No, no, I'm okay. Let's just do this. Outpost now 48% operational. We've or reorganized some of the storage rooms across the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should service agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Hey, you okay? Have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Mm. Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Nothing is more important than finding a way to beat the Reapers. These people are important. Their ideals, their knowledge. Someone needs to fight for them. I don't know. It seems like a waste of your skills. I'll take that as a compliment. That was a bit... Bad. How long have you known Bren? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? What's up with you and her? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... Okay. If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What about Kasumi? <laughs> you still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? 
After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure. I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Hmm. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? How does he know, though? The elusive man became Doesn't obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, but he's kind of was right. I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Because you're Don't dumb, beat dumb. yourself up. <laughs> and if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. <laughs> You bet your ass. All right. I thought we covered our bases. There's a war on. What does he want with us? Why does he care? Who knows? He's crazy. Can't plan for. What him. would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? These civilians mm. had no hope of coming out of this alive. Oh, weaponry is back. The jump. Very nice. I'm thinking. thinking oh come on oh what is this <laughs> thank you Jacob, this should be 
back yes. online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front Ooh. of the facility. More enemies in our path. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Can I, like, go up? I can't. How do I do this? <laughs> From here? <coughs> They're dropping out of the sky. Yeah, they are. Enemy on the mountain gun. Gotta get him off that gun. There we go. Move up. Keep low and find cover. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, this, yeah. Come on. Oh. Is he dead? Can hide. Oh. Be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back. Shit! We have to restart all the way there. Oh, 
Oh, shit. <clears throat> One of us has to make these repairs. Liara. Liara, I need you to fix the guns. You got it. Ready, Garrus? Let them do their worst. Let's get these people out of here. There we go. Easy. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Not yet. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. Okay, it's just to go around, I guess. Anything else, Shepard? We're ready to go when you give the word. I, I, I guess... You bet. 
I guess. I guess I could have gone. Unless I'm like missing things, you know? It's just to go around, I guess. I mean, I missed a couple of experience for sure. Speaking of which, five points? Cryoblast, maybe? Or overload? Overload would be barrier and shields by an additional 100. Yeah. I don't have enough points. I'm missing one point. Alright, I'll wait. Uh, maybe I can do something with them, though. Two? No, I can't. Okay. So I guess... The evacuation is progressing. Is there anything else? Thanks, Dr. Cole. Thank you again for everything. I, I guess that's it. Okay. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. I could have just done it. Right from the start. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Head to the shuttle bay and... Oh shit. Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Fuck. Get those people out of here. Alright then. Uh... Shuttle bay first, so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Go right shuttle. behind you. Right away. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Here we go. Jesus. What's your status? One more. Okay, wait a minute. Shuttle of refugees to go, right? We got this. We need to hold them a little longer. Hide. Oh my god. That that hurts so much. Oh, there we go. 
Holy shit. Crap! Back Take out that scene. shield generator. There's a shield generator? again, hey, Shepard? Huh. Nice to see you back in action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Because Thank of you. you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Yep. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. Nice. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. Ex-Service Scientist War Asset. I need you. <laughs> of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. Yeah, It's that's where I'm fine. at right now. I hope you can see that. I understand, yeah. Keep them safe, then. It's fine. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, <laughs> drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Nice. Problem solver. There we go. What is it? If I could a scientific facility. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is he already working so to find tired. a place for the family. Must be exhausted. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Shepard out! It's rare that she says that. I like it. Damn, that's a lot of credits! There we go. Very nice. We even have Gavin. All right then. Okay. Do we have time to do another mission? Never seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Oh. The Cerberus okay. scientists are safe with the Alliance. 
The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. Her head! Turn into a regular marine. That was scary. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Commander? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, uh, yeah, crew deck, right? Caden wants to speak to me. Here. No. No. Okay. What the fuck? Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. <laughs> but if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. <laughs> I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us, just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Mm-hmm. Good to see you. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room as a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. <laughs> Email from Jacob to Dr. Brin. Oh no, I shouldn't read that. I miss you, Brin, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened in the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. It's good to see you. Greetings, Commander. Okay, where the fuck is Caden? I think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Ah! Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. <laughs> Playing whose dick is bigger. <laughs> Good lord. It would help all involved if you could so buy a trade of medical supplies with the Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on him. <laughs> Always got on my nerves. 
But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. <laughs> and together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. Wait, did I bring them two together on those missions? I don't remember. On Tuchanka, I did for the Tyrian platoon. I had I had James and Garrus, but for for the Genophage, did I bring those two as well? And on the Citadel? No, I brought Javik on the Citadel. They're saying bullshit right now. Javik and Garrus, no, didn't I? Are they gonna say something else? I guess not. <laughs> that was funny though. I liked it. So where's Caden? I I lost it. I I don't know. <laughs> Crew quarters. Oh yeah. There he is. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Okay. This is... Uh, friendly, right? Just like friendly, right? Wait, I didn't want to... Um, I don't know what to do. Should I do another mission? Unread messages at your private terminal. Really? Commander. Again? Miranda! Shepard discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I found a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get here. Okay. From Caden. Hey Shepard, I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's that little restaurant in the courtyard overlooking the Presidium. Okay. From Gary! Shepard, I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Okay, that's better. Can't fight a war without a little r and &R once in a while. I'll be hanging out around C-Sec near the shuttles if you're interested. Of course I am. <laughs> Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock in the Citadel. What, did, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume specialist trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel next time we travel there. In my lifetime, I had been captured by the Reapers. It had been. If you would like to join me, I would be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. The, what? Uh, I... Commander. Everybody wants a piece of me. <laughs> Maybe it's just friendly, you know. Kind of cool though. More interactions. Okay. Uh... What should I do? What should I do? The Asari colony would be very interesting. Visit Anderson's apartment, rendezvous with Arya's fleet. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I think I, I could do now the Asari colony. It'll be a long episode, but it's fine. It's okay, right? You guys don't mind, right? <laughs> Woo! That was close! 34. Lessus. An unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of its sorry population. Its gravity is a little too high, its diseases a little too virulent, virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristic 
characteristically silent about lesses. Normally, a garden world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pollution can be seen on Lesses night side. Kind of want to bring uh, Liara and Javik for this, I think, because I haven't heard Javik talk about uh, Asari's yet and Liara because, well, she's an Asari, so it just makes sense. I'm, I'm just interested. Yeah, let's try that. And for weapons, we're good. For points, I think I can use some for Javik. Wait, let me see. For... Not really. Okay, let's just let's just go. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi oh! monastery. What? Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Are we Yakshi gonna see some Mara? themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. So it must be the two daughters of Samara. Samara must be there. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Yeah. Agreed. Once we give a report For to sure. High Command, they'll we stop can wasting wait. lives here. We can just... Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited! Samara must be here. Must be, right? The shuttle is warm, recently used. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Oh my god. <laughs> the sound effects, yeah. This is kind of scary. Stay sharp. I heard something. That was my fault. Sorry. Ah. Josephine, I'm less scared when you're here with me. No, she just disappeared. Tomei, you won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. Mm. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order in peace the space has given us. Matriarch Galay. 
Okay. Sorry, there wasn't all this hair on the mic. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Fuck. To our staff and students, attach is a new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Since Lee Superintendent Jeff Jethra. Isn't Jethra one of the daughters of Samara? I'm not sure. I am not sure. But that tells me something. It would seem the Asari commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? That's the real Anything question. Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Okay. <clears throat> this is so beautiful, guys. Honestly. I don't I don't know. I just It's the most wonderful time of the year. But seriously, I I feel this because right now it's snowing here. It's like the first snow of the year, kind of. Um, today is November 2nd, I think. And um, it's, uh, yeah, we have a bit of snow and stuff and I, j I don't know. This just feels appropriate right now. <laughs> Feels feels good. Feels like it respects my uh, theme going on. <laughs> and I don't know the architecture and everything. It just I'm in awe right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. This is really cool. And the the ambience is really like scary, you know? I don't know. Very good. <gasps> I almost didn't hear you. Ah, Samara? Samara? Of it has course. Been some time, Shepherd. You are a most welcome I'm sight. so happy to see her. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my right? daughters live here. That's what I thought. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. She is amazing. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. No, they're fine. This one's just as dangerous. No. Valer and Rila have followed the oh, monastery okay, not Jethra. ever since Sorry. they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them. They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned. Even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. Yeah, I remember. Um, We're out of time. Uh, getting their messages. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. My name is Tashia Bore. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Wishra. Oh. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Wishra I love her. Tell her. Sorry, we fought. New quest for the Citadel. An 
isolated fortress. The other Yokshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. Beautiful. Like a huge place for combat. A new enemy. A banshee. What the fuck is that? It. Okay. What in the. What the fuck are you? Is that a Reaper, the Asari? Only one? Wow, that was scary. the reapers done that was like that was sad uh, you know it was moving it was like teleporting but then moving super slowly like i don't know and with the music i hope it was not one of the sis uh, daughters As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. Shit. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? They want to use the Ardat Yakshi probably. Us. Yeah. They're turning us into... Banshees. Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words. With pride. I believe you, of course. And we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. Why? Why is it blurry? <laughs> what, didn't you come I to it with my people? eyes for a second? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire. 
I'm sorry. A little bit of respect, girl. <laughs> oh, okay. What the fuck? Them the biologics, Hulk. though. She's looking for Rila. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting my Black Widow out. <laughs> we'll meet you there. Please be swift. Need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. I mean, it still is, but yeah, I get it. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Sessia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Hmm. was that dude huh exclusive use of ju for of justicars shells packed with micro scale submission to deal Staggering amounts of damage. Even shielded enemies are stunned by the force of the blast from this weapon. Nah. I don't have a uh, mods for it right now because I'm not at a bench. So we'll we'll test it out another time. is that dude what the fuck I am so confused this is scary okay we could get down which is where we're supposed to go I'm gonna go here first. Jethra, I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Tessia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to that outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was ever even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating other infatuation. Another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Tessia's government to let our best students visit our home, home world. Unless Yanis majors, she won't be amongst them. Yanis? 
Jethro, I had a new girl put in the holding chamber. The Jesticar who brought her to us, Jeskorfora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashes out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Jesticar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Jesticars on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified of the other wits, but it will certainly be the last. Oh, weapon bench. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just see. That's a really cool little shotgun blade attachment. I like it. I kind of want to try. Ooh, that's cool. I like it. It's not that heavy. Like, it is heavy, yes, but I still have a, uh, a good recharge, power recharge, I think. Maybe.
Not sure I really like the shotgun. At least not against a banshee. It was not super good. Another dead commando. The Asari should have rid themselves of the other Yokshi. Oh, By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition. The... <laughs> I saved before just in case. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to, okay? I had to. Yeah, it's not worth the my powers being so slow to recharge versus like the, the shotgun's power, it's not that good, you know what I mean? Sure. Uh, wait a minute. Four. Six. Yeah. There we go. Bomb. Okay. That's the two daughters, right? We've found our bomb. And Falaire. Reload. Reload. Falaire. Rila cannot hear oh, us. Oh no. Look. She's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can Is you she hear indoctrinated me? or something? begun to turn her into one of the reaper's creatures oh my goodness i'm sorry how does it work can we though? set off that bomb we need a detonator commandos would have had one we've got to find it there's a banshee <laughs> looks pregnant later later Oh, okay. Husks. All right. This, this, and then this. Ay, ay, ay. Uh. Shit, the grab is too cool. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Yeah. 
we go. Oh my god. Literally on my last bullet. That was crazy. Ooh. Is she okay? Like, can we reverse it? Filaire, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Damn. Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Is she gonna do it though? My god. Yeah, can she do it? Wow, they look so cool though. <laughs> We were able to save one, but she only has Rila. one daughter left. It wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Family? Falair. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. She's gonna stop being a Justicar. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code... She's gonna stop being a Justicar. There is only one way to save Falair. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much strong. Come on now. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code by throwing your life away? You don't have to do that, I won't though. kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you Jesus. to stay as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. 
you could stay. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. Of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Dude, I thought she was gonna Everything's kill taken herself care of right there. Here. Oh my Bring god, the that shuttle. was so scary. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I'm not ready to have a yet another person dying. Not on my watch, please. I read please. your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardent Yakshi find rest. Okay, what glitch. the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Thank God for that Paragon interrupt. Oh my lord. I thought I could speak to Hackett again, but I guess not. All right. <laughs> We have Sari Commandos and Samara now. Holy shit. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've Her decided head. to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander. What the hell did she mean by that? <laughs> Crucible update. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of the facility on Jellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man and it's a privilege to work under him. <laughs> yeah. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Hey, Shepard. This Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there? Things were so crazy on Jellix. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know. Samara. Shepard, I've finished my business on Lessis. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it's, it, it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there, of course. Corinne Lemayas. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that the place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Goreen. Amazing missions today. I did not expect to see Jacob and Samara today. That's... Awesome. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. Hmm. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Hello, Shepard.
all right then i think next episode jesus christ that's a lot i did a sorry commando left a message to be delivered to a one way restaurant find where sean is to deliver the message yeah uh I hate the journal in this game. It hurts my brain. It's terrible. I think I will go back to the Citadel next time, guys. I'm thinking. Go back to the Citadel, do a bunch of stuff like this. Then either do the Leviathan or Arya's DLCs. Go back to the Citadel, do a bunch. Do the other DLC and then maybe priority pursuits by all or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's my uh Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. I know. I know I uh I got invi invited by everybody. Let me go talk to Garrus if he's in the main battery. He's never there in this game. I always have to go around and search for him. <laughs> I swear. I swear he never calibrates anymore. My dude, Garrus, where the fuck? <laughs> where the fuck are you? That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. <sighs> Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Good to see you. Everybody was fighting ah, the Rachni, there we go. trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. Where the Javik is out when the and Krogan about? rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. So my own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Orohoras fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Mm -hmm. Commander. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. Mm. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Mm. Or the Hanar. It's or true. the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Good to see you. That's so true. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. Mm. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. Mm. You sound like you admire them. 
same way I admire a virus mm. or a thresher mob. I get that. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty He's surprise right. after another. I love Garrus. Commander. Yeah. Should I call trainer? Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? I hope it's not like a romantic thing. Your I saved is right gorgeous. before. I've seen apartments smaller than this. <laughs> oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. How about a shower? No, thank you. The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess? Well, if you're not up for the challenge, try me. I'm scared. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and the Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Yeah, yeah. I get it. That's me. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. Ah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Okay. That was friendly, right? All right. Oh, how about a shower? No. Okay, let's call. Um... Trainer, can you send Diana up? Yeah. She wanted an interview. Yeah. Let's right do that. Away, Commander. I should have changed. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, <laughs> it's no my... secret that Council Space has suffered hoodie. some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. Chief. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. Hell yeah. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Why is everybody so horny? And why James? 
James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Okay, I prefer that. Good, James. Hey, you? man. Good, good. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> That's friendly. I like it. <laughs> wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. I've got fishies. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. <laughs> Sorry, Shepard. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Mm. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. Oh, shit. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I get that. Like, not knowing if he wants that responsibility again. It's kind of like Garrus. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. And the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Mm. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hell yeah! Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well... I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. I like that. That was nice. Carnage is unlocked. Okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Wait, wait, wait. I think this is cool. Or this is pretty cool too. Oh my god. I kind of like this one as well. Is that like all black? Anyways. <laughs> that was that was nice. That was nice. I want carnage. For sure.
Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very nice. All right. We're gonna stop because, oh my lord, I've been playing for way too long. Have we long. heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Matriarch's galley was an Asari of some importance with connection to Asari High Command and the Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols are realized it has been activated by someone else. Galay's contact can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or, on behalf of the Asari Embassy, grant someone a discount on all Citadel stores. Power damage. <laughs> I was working on that problem you sent me last night, and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the crucible energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitor redesign into your projections. It should have 3.6 millisecond of the mass effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. Okay. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. Mm. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No, not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, mm. nobody deserves that. True. Feel free to look around. I mean... Feel free to look around. At your service. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Do I need to? Uh, are you guys okay? You guys gonna eat? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Destroy a phantom sword to remove its capabilities. I just saw that. Okay, interesting. Commander. Interesting. Okay, next episode. The easiest way to know what the like bigger missions you can do is by going in the galaxy map because if you just look at your journal, it is a fucking mess. I hate it. I hate it. Why is it like that? I will never know, okay? But if you go to the galaxy map like this, you see the highlighted places where you can do stuff, like actual missions, not just scanning shit and then go in, you know what I mean. So here, obviously, we have the Citadel, where we have a lot of things we can do. So I think that's what we're gonna do next episode. I'm gonna go back to the Citadel to see everybody, even Miranda, we have Miranda, people want to do stuff with me, all of that, right? Apart from that, we have Leviathan DLC. There's Perseus Veil that I don't want to do right now. I want to do it later. There's nothing else. That's it. Okay, see, I thought it was more than that. I thought it was more. Because when I look at this, I'm like, oh my god have a lot of things to do but actually it's just three missions that we can do omega uh, it's four omega citadel perseus veil and leviathan that's it why oh why did they do this i'm done complaining i'm sorry but that is why why change something that was working well? I will never understand. I don't know. I don't know why they do that. It was working well in Mass Effect 2. What was the problem with the journal? There was none. Main assign main main missions, assignments. And then development. 
You could click on it and see the development on your quest. It was perfect. I love this game, but yeah, there's a couple of things like that that I'm like, why? Anyways, this was super fun. I was very happy to see Jacob and Samara again, and they both survived. Thank God. That was nice. I really liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed as well the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!